Hello everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world, or out of this world. I'm your host Elias, and it's great to have you here as always. Today, I'm reviewing the Sphero Mini. This is a robotic STEM toy, obviously it is a sphere. Sphero is a well-known company that makes many other educational toys, including the BB-8 robot I have, I have reviewed, R2-D2 and R2-Q5. Alright, before we get started, just a quick word about my sponsor, JLCPCB. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB, where you can prototype and order professional high-precision PCBs online from only $2. JLCPCB boards are widely applied to aerospace, industry, smart robot, medical device fields, and also do-it-yourself projects for engineers, makers, and hobbyists. So check them out below, JLCPCB.com, $2 for 10 PCBs. This is a great company, and thank you for sponsoring this video. Alright, so let's get to it. So I have the Sphero Mini here. I unboxed it. It is about uh, 42 millimeters in height, about as big as a ping pong ball. Let's compare it to BB-8, which I have reviewed on the show. See here you can see, so if I remove the head, BB-8's body is like a typical Sphero ball. Their other educational toy, their full-size educational sphere. So let's put uh, BB-8 here away. So yeah, he is tiny, 42 millimeters compared to 73 millimeters in height of the BB-8. So this robot came out just a few months ago. Sphero has been making their educational sphere ball for a while now and it has been adapted in many schools to teach about robots and also dabble in basic programming. All right, back in the box, you have a USB charger cable and some accessories. These are small bowling balls and some other little plastic pieces you can use to play games and also interact with Sphero Ball. And finally, there's of course the manual. But that's it, very, very simple, very small box. And um, yeah, unlike BB-8, Sphero Mini has to be charged a little differently. So let's go back and look at BB-8. BB-8 comes with a little base and it uses induction charging. So the base will transfer electricity to the robot without having to open up the robot. Sphero Mini is a little different. You have to pop it open. Applying a little pressure on its sides allows you to pop the soft shell and then you use the USB cable to plug it into the sphere. And let's look at this. So we have a USB port right there obviously and uh, there's a whole bunch of different sensors. There's a gyroscope and accelerometer inside the uh, robot itself. And uh, yeah, pretty standard. Some wheels there. So yeah, you have to charge the robot this way. It takes about an hour to charge it and you get about an hour worth of playtime. Other impressions I can share with you, I would say the shell pops in really easy. It's not scratch proof, it's not impact proof, it's uh, much thinner, and the whole thing weighs about 46 grams. So just like any good robotic device, it comes with a free app, so I recommend downloading that right away. It is compatible with iOS and Android. It will not work with a Kindle though. So in the app you have many different options different ways of creative ways of driving the ball like scream mode you, you move around the ball by screaming or making loud noises so it's, uh, that was pretty fun so there's tilt mode and uh, like a football mode a slingshot mode or a very basic joystick mode so that's all fun but not as fun as face drive so this is pretty creative you drive the ball by smiling to move forward and frowning to go backwards and tilting left and right. Uh, that's creative. It seems the Sphero guys certainly have a sense of humor. Another creative way you can use the mini Sphero ball is by using it as a joystick. So in the app there's three games you can play and you can tilt the ball back and forth and you can shoot asteroids out of the sky. <laughs> or navigate a speedy racer until time runs out.
but my favorite game is called Round Trip and it's kind of addicting. It's like a multi-dimensional Pong game, a lot of fun. The joystick worked, this mini Sphero ball worked very well as a joystick, very smooth. Uh, certainly had a lot of fun with this. And there's another way to use a device even without the app. It's called Desktop Mode. And all you have to do is plug it in to wake up the device, then unplug it, put the shell back on, spin it, and then until the light lights up like that, then shake it. After you shake it, the device will go into a mini escape mode. It will try to escape the desk. You have to stop it. The ball will continue like that until it feels you won, and at which point it will stop. Now the real value of this robot is the fact that you can use it with the Sphero EDU app. So there's an educational value to this robot. So if you download this app, if you've used this before, this is really easy. You basically drag blocks that allow the robot to execute on commands. Very simple, this is block programming. We have covered that in other episodes. Many of today's educational robots use the same type of programming. An easy way to teach children and young adults how to program a robot and give, show them the basics of those concepts. Like for example here, I wrote a short program to make the sphere move in a square around this obstacle, the sphere mini box. So once you execute the program, you get to see the results, which is fantastic. And really, gives you some real value to this robotic toy. And the app is pretty great. It has many sample programs and you can see some of other people's work as well. Programs as well. So great value. Highly recommend that. All right, just to summarize some of the features here. So it comes with an app that allows you to do games and face drive. You can code with it. The box includes the micro USB cord, the traffic cones and the bowling pins, and it is compatible with iOS 10, Android 5 Plus, interchangeable plastic shell, it's got a gyroscope and accelerometer, like as we talked about, LED lights, it charges in about an hour, or less, lasts about an hour, and it weighs about 46 grams. Now, if you don't like the shell, you can buy one of a different color they offer four different colors or you can buy the shell itself they sell uh, on the website and on Amazon you can buy the shell it costs about $9.99 so there you have it uh, the Sphero mini compared to its brother it offers you only a 10 meter Bluetooth range versus a 30 meter Bluetooth range it's not scratch proof it's not that durable but it is seems to be a lot of fun and it has an educational value for $49.99 and sometimes $39.99 on sale, that's not bad. So I recommend this product, go check it out and let me know if you enjoyed the show. Please leave your comments, your feedback down below and I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, thank you for watching Smart Robots Review.